I got to start this video off a little bit differently from how I usually start it. So I want to show you something. I had a conversation the other day and it's kind of related to this video right here. So two years ago, almost three years, I posted a video and it was called how to invest $50 for absolute beginners. You can see it right here. It got 16,000 views. Now I'm wearing a robe in a video and those who've been rocking with me for a long time, you know, back in the day when I used to just jump on, I wasn't a content creator really yet. I was just showing the people how they could do it too, how you don't need to be a millionaire to invest. Now, the reason that I'm bringing this up is because in this video right here, where you see me in a robe, it, it must have rubbed somebody the wrong way. They brought it up not too long ago, and they're talking about Kena. Yo, look, you were sitting in a robe, and now you got the bow tie, you got the arm on the mic, what's going on, right? And then I'm thinking to myself, this is exactly why I started this channel. This is exactly why. Because what happens is people, they try to meet you on one step in life, and if you fall down, what they'll do, they'll laugh. They'll say, man, you really blew it, right? But if you level up and you move up a step, they'll say, yo, you changed. What happened? Oh, man, they got something good to say. Or if you stay on the same step with them, but if you elevate or you fall down, they got something negative to say both times. So then you're thinking to yourself, what's going on? People want you to stay on the exact step that they left you at where they last seen you, family. If you are a doctor, a dental hygienist, if you're a plumber, if you're a nurse, if you're whatever, a contractor, right? If you got some side hustle, you're an Uber driver, whatever you are, a musician, a fitness trainer, whatever you are, understand this. People want you to stay exactly where they met you at and they don't want you to elevate. They don't want you to fall because then they're going to say something bad about that too. They don't want you to elevate because then they're going to say something bad. They want you to stay exactly where you are. So then it brings me back to a conversation that I had because back here, I was actually a teacher. And I taught in high school, I taught in middle school, I taught engineering, science, math, you name it, right? Certified teacher with the state. Understand this, when I was doing this at the time, and I'm gonna just tell you like it is, back then, family, I was investing like, it had to be $3,400 a month, right? Investing, investing, investing. Why? Because I was working a full-time job, my wife working a full-time job. We was kind of relatively new in our careers at this time. So then, guess what? We didn't have all of these bills. So then we were able to invest a high majority of our money that we were getting. We wasn't like getting all of this kind of crazy money, but we were able to live well under our means so that we could invest regularly, right? So even at that time, I realized, yo, they got something called fractional shares. Everybody could invest, right? Or you could just buy things that have a, a low share price. Like, I don't know, something like I'm investing to right now for the passive income challenge. Oh, Realty, for example, it costs $64. At the time of this recording, I'm not saying you should buy anything, hold anything or sell anything. I'm just telling you like it is because people didn't know these things, family. So I say all of that to say this. People want you to stay exactly where you are. Whatever you're doing now, they want you to stay on these steps and we ain't having that. And then that's why I started this channel. And I want to say another thing too, because I know a lot of these conversations aren't being had. So back when I was teaching eighth graders, right? There was a little girl. I used to teach in a really affluent area where a lot of the people was rich and from rich families and I was just a, a, the teacher there. So I'm like, yo, I'm thinking about investing. Like we talking about, we talking about engineering, we talking about science, but I'm at the same time I'm in a class and I'm like, yo, you know what? We finished the lesson for the day. So I pulled up the chart. I pull up the charts, right? So for example, something like this, I pull up something like this and I'm like, yo, Look at this. We let's say we're looking at Bitcoin, for example. I'm like, yo, yeah, look, take a look at this, right? What is what does this look like to you? One of the little girls in the class, an eighth grade girl, she said, Oh, Mr. Grace, that's a double bottom pattern. And I my eyes was like this. Shocked. Shocked. Right? I'm thinking, I'm in my mid-20s. I'm in my late 20s at the time. And I'm like, yo, how did you even recognize this? Right. We're in a, a science like engineering type class and it had nothing to do with reading the charts. So then how was you able to identify a double bottom kind of a pattern on the chart? So I asked, I'm like, yo, how do you know that? And she says, oh, my dad, he would just sit me down and he oh, it's so annoying. He will always show me this stuff and having me like make sure I know what I'm looking at here. And I'm thinking to myself, wow. Wow. Coming from where I come from, I never heard of anybody doing anything like that. 
I never hear about it. I never hear about people saying, yo, invest, uh, get into something that can pay you some dividends, right? I never hear about any of that. I never heard, oh yeah, this is what the charts look like. This is these candles. They're not just red and green, just sticks. They actually are telling you something here. I never heard anything like that, family. So in order for me to hear that this little girl was having this experience with her family at home and her family already was well off and doing well, I'm thinking, wow, you know what that's telling me? That's telling me that I... A person who knows what this stuff is looking like, I should help people to say, yo, you should invest too. I'm not going to tell you exactly what to invest in. I'm not your financial advisor. Like I even said on this right here, I'm not a financial advisor. This is almost three years ago, but you should start investing, right? So then a lot of people were able to make a lot of money. We helped people with the 26 week challenge where we help people in 26 weeks, family, just a few months, get $5,000 that they never had before. We started the DCA $10 challenge where we help people learn to dollar cost average the right way with a specific plan family and be able to just, Hey, I'm investing $10 a day into a company. That's a long-term banger blue chip stock family. I'm building out that foundation. We helped them do that. And now that we on this passive income challenge, we're going to get money doing that too. And then just use a little army of dollars to help pay us more and more and more every single month, family. So we got to get going and we got to make sure that we know how to build this wealth out so that like I was telling you with that little girl who was telling me, oh yeah, that's a double bottom pattern, Mr. Grace. That's a double bottom pattern. I want your kids to be able to identify that stuff too. When they see this little W right here, I want them to just say, oh, yeah, I'm an eighth grader. It is what it is. But I know what that is because somebody sat down with me and told it to me and kept it real and kept it raw and kept it simple enough that I could see it. So then when I go back and I look and I look at myself in this video almost three years ago in a month sitting in a robe, look at the thumbnail, right? The thumbnail and look at the text and all of this stuff, how to invest for dummies, right? On an app that you could use. And it was, it was free to use the app before this, you had to pay commission. So then when I look back and I think of this, I say, yo, I did that out of love. I did that out of love. I got into this. And the reason that I'm in this position that I'm in today is because I was always walking in my purpose and I was walking with love. And I mean, the love for other people to show you that, yo, look, I was already doing okay. I was already doing well. Like I told you, I was able to invest $3,400 a month because I was living under my means. But I felt like if I get there, if I get to where I want to be, I'm going to be there alone. Right now, the people around me are going to be there too. But I don't want to just win alone. I want us all to win. I want us all to be able to get there. So then when I look back, I just think, man, I was walking in my purpose. And that's why I'm here. So when somebody tells you, yo, you're a plumber, you're a nurse, you're a contractor, Look, you the guy who working uh, at retail, you working at, at, you flipping burgers. You can't be anything more. Family, I want you to just stop that. Don't even listen to none of that, family. People want you to stay exactly where you either are. They don't want you to fall because then they're going to have pity for you or they're going to talk down on you. And they don't want you to rise up because they want you to stay exactly on that step that they met you at, family. So look, we ain't having that. So I say all of that to say this, family. I was going to make a video today on starbucks right a video was gonna be on starbucks they had a post and it said here's and i want you to just follow me on this here's how much a thousand dollars in starbucks 15 years ago would be worth today so now when i go and i look at it it tells me and let me just let me just zoom this up a little bit so you can see it because this makes my point again when i'm talking about people who who don't invest and don't even know about investing let's let's zoom it in it says that if you invested a thousand dollars then today what would you have? You would have about $8,000. Look at this. Let me see if I could get it to go over and scroll over. It won't really scroll, but it is what it is. You would have, here we go, $8,000, $8,827. If you invested $1,000 into Starbucks, family, 15 years ago. What is this? When I was growing up, my mom, we were poor. She would get income tax from the state, income tax money, right? So... And I'm talking, it was, it was four of us, right? Me, my brother, my two sisters, and my mom, you know, she didn't really know about investing. Nobody was able to sit down with her and teach her the game. So then what she would do, very giving person, she would give us money. She would give people money who needed it, right? She would, you know, go stack the refrigerator up. And, but we didn't know that we could put our money up and actually go and turn a thousand dollars of even $12,000 income tax money, let's say or 10,000, whatever it may have been. I was a kid at the time, but we didn't know we could turn that 
into gold. We didn't know that we could have put that up. And then it would have been $8,000 or something like that. In Starbucks, family, in Starbucks. And the memories that I'm telling you about was even more than 15 years ago. So imagine, just imagine investing your own money. So family, I say all of that to say this. Don't let people's limiting beliefs hold you back at all. And I, yo, don't ever let it happen, family. Believe in yourself. When people try to tell you that you can't do this or you can't do that because of who you are, because you're the guys working at Best Buy, you're the person working at McDonald's, you know what I'm saying? You driving an Uber, you, you're a fitness trainer. Don't let them, their limiting beliefs stop you from being who you really are, family. Now, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. This episode is brought to you by the Moomoo Investing App, family. If you want to get up on Moomoo with us, then go ahead and do so. You can get into the sweepstakes and get in like 60k potentially to get you a free ticket take a screenshot of this so you can see exactly the tiers of what you got to deposit into your own account to get some money commission free trading start building your wealth today family get up on that passive income challenge with us we're doing it all moomoo i just picked up my latest or put in my order for my old realty for the challenge right it's not too late to get in this challenge and the reason that i'm saying all that to say this is i always want to bring you value in the video and i want you to know that we're doing a challenge where we are buying dividend stocks we're keeping it real simple like i told you it's 64 dollars right now i put in an order for one of them and guess what this is going to do this is going to pay me every single month until i sell it for the rest of my life and i'm gonna be able to keep the principal balance so the reason again i'm doing this in the same energy that i had when i was telling you that i was doing this video how you know what you could invest $50 and start making some money, family. Just the same energy that I always had. It's just now I'm, I'm wearing a bow tie in the videos. I used to wear a bow tie when I was going and teaching in the schools, family. Now I'm wearing a bow tie in the video. And you know what? I'm just happy to not be doing it wearing a robe, but I'm the same guy. It is what it is. Except, you know what? I'm even better than the same guy. I'm evolved and you're going to evolve too. Now, I love y'all. I see you in the next one. Take care.